Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Captain and today we are here at Lynn Gilead at Meluinen. I can't speak Sindarin so therefore I'm not sure exactly how that's pronounced. But anyway, we've been asked to speak with an elf over here to find out what the situation is. How can I be of service? Yes, I've been sent here to speak with Lachen and... I've come too late? What do you mean? He's dead? Killed by trolls. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Well, what should I do then to help? Will you lend me your ear? Collect Aurochs meat. Okay. All right. First I go and defend Aurochs. Now I go to kill Aurochs. How's that for a juxtaposition? Mind my words, traveler. And find shattered barrels. Let's start out with the uh, barrels. Since that's the less predictable quest, since that's one where I have to find things all over the place. And of course I have these butterbirds to collect. And why do they suddenly remind me of a fat innkeeper? Don't know. Whatever. Alright, we get more of these. And have those. Oh, before I go around and fight anything nasty, I better. I think an archer will do for this case. It's not going to be like the previous episode where I was going into that place with the sour hands. Instead, we are going against a place thick with flies. Insect menace. Kill eight of them. Right? Now, usually when I think of a menace from insects, I think of pesky little mosquitoes or ah! ants. Tiny little things. Not flies, the. Well, sights of a. Uh, well, I was trying to think of a. Ah! Nice description of the size, seeing how, since they're flying. Part of their size is taken up by the wing. So do you give it by body size? Or do you include the wing size? Oh. Ah, picked up the barrel rather than the butter bar. Okay. I have dealt with the insects. <laughs> Light cutter. What a name for a weapon. And here are the supplies. Megovanen. I did not think you uh, hope as much could be found. Yes, all right, good here. And how good is this ring? Ooh, definitely better than a level five copper ring, that's for sure. So, oh, why about that? More elves wanting me to do things for them. Stay a moment. Right, you want me to summon uh, bog guardians and take channel stones to channel the guardians nearby I guess stay a moment you mean to kill orcs okay now that sounds like a quest an elf will give you kill orcs because orcs are always either killing orcs or sending somebody else to kill orcs for them mind my words traveler and kill orcs in Meluin, Meluinen. Yeah. All right, so I have two people who want me to kill orcs. All right, if I can get two for the price of one, then that's what we shall do. And who knows, maybe I'll get my last piece of butter burr. And perhaps also I can at some point get around to finding those alright okay that's the ambusher I don't feel like finding the ambushers at the moment but I should set focus for the locations for the stone so that we can one orc down several hundred to go 
hateful Ongbird. Like as opposed to a nice Ongbird. Not too sure where I'll go finding the Venom Sacks, but alright. Ah, here's my final Butterbur. Good. Now that's done, let's go and find the last stone. And now, which orcs are going to have the venom sack? Probably the... So something with the defile model, that, that sounds like somebody who's at a specific location. And that insect is book me, so therefore... Go about that. Yeah, so let's not go about the specific location orc yet, and instead worry about these stones, which seem to always be. Oh, everyone just wants to get in their way, don't they? Yeah, that's why I don't like fighting luck. The stupid tingling roots. Well then, we'll take care of that. Of course, always yell right when the thing disappears. That way, you could waste your invocation. Uh, let's see. We should be close. Ah, flat stone. And... Nothing happens. Oh well, too bad. That's uh, one down, two more to go. The second one seems to be on this island. And do they do anything? Yeah, they continue to sleep. That's what they continue to do. I'm saying the third one's this way? Ah, I missed one. How about if I miss those flies? I don't need to worry about them. Ah, that's close to the orc camp up there. And maybe that orc camp is where I need to go for that... Where was I? Yes, for that defiler. And all of those pouches I'm supposed to be getting. So, we could check that out. And we could also skirt that lurker there. Ah! It's weird trying to skirt all these lurkers that are annoying you while at the same time trying to find the bog guardians. Which are pretty much the same. I'm not too sure if there is any distinction Distinction between what they are? I mean, are they two tribes of the same thing? Is it that some are tamed and some are wild? Is it that some have been recruited by the enemy? Or I work? It's an interesting question on what. Oh, that's where the venom sacks are. Oh! Sleeping Guardians. There we go. Flat stone. Uninterested. And I think... Ah! Whoops! Oh, thank you for ignoring me. It's nice to be ignored in situations like that. And now let's head into these ruins where I think I'm going to find this Defiler. He's a... So I was hoping I wouldn't have to do all this swimming in order to get there. We have found land again! Yay! And we found orcs again. Now, does this orc carry pouches? And... No. She was counted as regular orcs. Oh, he did have a pouch. How about that? Okay, you see what he's carrying. Mushroom, yes, of course, mushroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that is. No, 
Now that gives us at least three of them. So that must mean, yeah, that must be here somewhere. Oh, hey, we don't need to fight the flies. Uh, well, never mind. Ooh. Yeah, too bad we're not going to even damage. Ooh. I finally got that. Defiler, where are thee? Of course, the Defiler is up on that little thing. First. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering how that went so fast. Yes, an elf popped up and said, well, Blade of I'm not sure how far I'll get to do that, but okay. One less orc to worry about. Check, 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 check. All I've got left is Metal Sweet, but I know that's in a completely different location, so I don't have to worry about that. So it is time to report back to the elves. Unless the stones are needed in order to induce sleep in them, there was no effect. What can I do for you? You have placed the stones. Well, that's well, though it seems the Bog Guardians have chosen not to come to our aid. I suppose I was too eager for old friendships between elves and Bog Guardians to be rekindled, that I was hopeful to the point of blindness. <sighs> oh, wait a moment. Here goes a Bog Guardian, and more. Ah, I shamed myself with despair. They have chosen to aid us, and yes, here they come. Not that I think it makes any real difference, I think, after this. But, here comes, uh, now, he's assuming that these are Bog Guardians coming to help them, rather than Bog Lurkers coming in to attack. You gotta be careful sometimes. How do you tell the difference between a Bog Guardian and a Bog Lurker? Just asking, other than one attacking you and one doesn't. Yes, now let's see what we've got here. Hello there. Yeah, here's some venom pouches. What do you need? Yes, there you go. Yes, I took care of the defiler too. Good. Now, what's that ring like? The ring is me. Well, maybe power. Well, I'm not going to jump up and down for that. Very well, and I have taken care of some works. What can I do for you? Good. Good, and oh, it's a bow. No wonder I'm not allowed to use it. And what else is there? Oh, yes, over here. And I have taken care of whatever you want to do. Might you spare a moment oh. of your time? Oh, I haven't even done it yet. <laughs> yeah. But the Northmen are seen carrying chests laden with weapons into a cave? Oh, actually, Hillman! I didn't know that there was a Hillman quest this early. I suppose I will have to take a quest that involves going after Hillman. Oh, I don't need to talk to Hal Gamgee at this moment. Alright, I guess that's it for that, except I have to take care of some all rocks, and I think they are down here. And we'll hunt a few of those and bring them back. And speaking of all rocks, here is one now, and that is a calf. That is a big calf, certainly a lot bigger than the one that we escorted earlier. It should be too difficult seeing how New Deed in Darkest Days. I guess I'll be unlocking a few more of those as things come along. But five of them. Five of them! 
down but remember the marker twice in the same session wow Wait a moment oh great food I didn't know that big that up also well at least I didn't sustain a grave wound when I got stunned over there and I just need to find two more and I'll be done. And I have gotten the stakes. Megovanen. I'm glad you are satisfied and what do you need me get now? Hmm. Auroch Skinner. <laughs> that would have been useful when I was skinning all those Aurochs, that's for sure. Alright, very well. That'll do. Now, what does this guy want? Stolen ornament and wayward companion. Hmm. Not too sure about that. I think it is time, since I'm level 30 now, that I head over to Estudin. So that's where I will meet you in a moment. I have arrived at the secret camp of Estildin, a place known only to a few. A place where you have a mailbox? Let's see if there's anything here for me. How in the world did they find May in this secret ranger camp? All right, let's see. Each day I hear more of all that you do. It pleases me to know that you are developing so. I have enclosed instructions, follow them. I look forward to seeing you, Don Appledore. Uh, her again. What she want now? Uh, find somebody else's badge, maybe? Pinecrest, I have needed your services again. At your leisure, please return to me in Bree, and I will see that you are informed of what the latest charge entails. Don Appledore. Well, I guess that means it's uh, back to Bree. And I just got here. Perhaps this time I should just come to the front desk instead of going around to the back. Hello, Don. How are you doing? Greetings. I am glad that you have returned. I am hopeful that you will be prepared for the latest endeavor. All right. Where do you need me to go this time? Stay a moment. You have gained some measure of fame as a captain of men, Pinecrest, and your name is spoken by those in need of hope. A traveler gave word to me is that a dwarf by the name of Jarl Copperbrace has tried to send word to you requesting your assistance with a small matter. The dwarf planned to stay in the mining settlement of Althricar in the North Downs for a time. If you set forth soon, you might arrive before the time of your need is past. Why didn't you just tell me to go to Althricar in the first place? Perhaps I should be happy she didn't send me to Estildeen instead. Hello there! At your service, and your families. You received my message, I see. Well, it's like this. I was having a quiet drink, or three, then an end down in Breedland, when I fell into a conversation with a man named Hilton Harper. He spoke very highly of you, and recommended that I seek you out. If you are as great a captain as he thinks you are, you will surely have little difficulty helping me in this task. The Dowerhands have been a real thorn in our sides for some time now, and whenever we drive them from our lands, they find some hidden nook in which to establish themselves. They're like cave claws in that respect, though a Dowerhand generally smells worse. False beards and all. A party of Dowerhands has taken residence in the nearby ruins of Ost Gullimar, in, to the chagrin of my fellows here in Althricar. I have been given several standards of the Free Peoples, and I want them raised over Ost Gullimar. 
Speak to me when you're ready to go there, and together we will travel to the ruin ruins. Will I be able to successfully plant all these standards? We'll find that out in the next episode of Binding Plays, The Cat.